Right now at noon, a seat up for grabs on the Rock County Board of Supervisors ends in a tie. How elections officials say the race will be decided. Plus, President Biden and Israeli Prime Minister are expected to speak for the first time since Monday's deadly airstrike in Gaza that killed seven aid workers. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Thanks for joining us on this Thursday. I'm Josh Breider. First at noon, Dodgeville police are looking for two missing teenagers. This is 16-year-old Holly Gurton on the left. She left home on Monday in the city of Dodgeville. She is described as 5 foot 4 with blue eyes and brown hair. She is likely with the man on the right, a 17-year-old named Jonathan Lindahl, who is described as 6 foot 2 with blonde hair and blue eyes. Right now, police believe the pair are driving in Gurton's 2007 Silver Pontiac Grand Prix. It has a Wisconsin license plate reading AVX9211. If you have any information, call the Dodgeville Police Department at 608-935-5950. Well, the snow continues to fall this afternoon. First four meteorologist Kelly Slifka is out on the weather patio with a look at your certified most accurate forecast. We're almost through it, Kelly. Yeah, we are. In, in fact, actually, there's no snow out here right now. In fact, I can kind of see the sun trying to break through these clouds. Uh, really bright out here with the fresh snow. And, of course, this April sun is higher in the sky and a lot stronger. And that will melt that snow pretty quickly, even though it is still fairly cloudy. It is quiet for now. We can expect a few rain and snow showers uh, this afternoon. Nothing like what we saw a couple of hours ago, that steady light snow that we had it won't be like that but we are expecting some scattered showers to develop looks like we will get into some sunshine uh, tomorrow afternoon and especially on saturday still kind of chilly going into the weekend another system will bring us some scattered rain showers on sunday so we did have that band of snow that pushed through uh, uh, southern wisconsin most of that has now exited most of southern wisconsin maybe a flurry or two to the east of madison over there towards stoughton and deerfield but otherwise pretty quiet. Our future track radar does indicate enough instability that uh, we could see some rain showers popping up. May mix it with a few snowflakes uh, simply because, as mentioned, uh, some of that sun is trying to uh, break through these clouds a little bit, may create a little bit of instability, but still quite socked in with clouds across the entire Badger State. Noticing off to the west in Minnesota and parts of Iowa, they are seeing clearing, and where they are seeing clearing, it's quite a bit warmer. They're well in the 40s, even 50 right now in Fargo and also Des Moines, while we're stuck in the upper 30s. Some of our western counties likely to hit the low to mid 40s today because of the uh, getting a little bit closer to that sunshine. Uh, 39 right now in Middleton, 37 in Madison, 37 also in Cottage Grove. We are calling for cloudy skies with some scattered light showers here and there. It's going to be pretty light. Temperatures near 40. It is still pretty breezy with those north winds at 10 to 20. Well, we do have some sunshine in our forecast, and we're tracking another system that will bring us some rain later in the weekend. We'll track it for you coming up. All right. Thank you, Kelly. We now know when the next superintendent for the Madison Metropolitan School District will start his new job. Dr. Joe Gothard will begin serving the district on May 20th. He is currently the superintendent of St. Paul Public Schools in Minnesota. His last day there is May 17th. Gothard will be in Madison next week. A uh, random selection to set, uh, is set to decide who will win a seat in the Rock County Board of Supervisors. Brandon Buchanan and Lori Marshall received 190 votes each in that race for District 11 Supervisor. It makes up some of the city and town of Beloit. Looking ahead, a board of canvassers will verify those results next week. And if it's still tied, here's what happens. Then, by state statute, we actually randomly either uh, flip a coin, uh, Draw a name out of a hat. We randomly choose who the winner is. After that, the election would be certified, but the losing candidate could call for a recount. Right now, local communities are getting some help to restore and protect wetlands and prevent flooding. That's through a bill Governor Evers signed into law. It's called the Pre-Disaster Flood Resilience Program. The move aims to help communities fund the restoration of wetlands, streams, and floodplains to mitigate damage from floods. This comes after multiple floods in recent years in Cassville, Wisconsin Dells, Oregon, and Middleton. Meanwhile, a bill regarding PFAS cleanup is facing opposition from environmental advocates. The bill now heads to Governor Evers' desk after it passed both chambers of the state legislature. It would limit the ability of Department of Natural Resources to order those responsible for the substance's contamination in private property to clean it up. This comes after PFAS was detected in drinking water systems, private wells, and fish throughout the state. President Biden and Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu are set to speak today for the first time since a deadly airstrike in Gaza. It killed seven aid workers with the food charity World Central Kitchen. The incident sparking outrage around the world. And as Natalie Brand reports, the call comes as we are learning more about the workers killed. 
just say that Jacob was a, a very good, exception, exceptional human being. The parents of Jacob Flickinger say the 33-year-old new father was hesitant to go to Gaza, but told CBS News as a military veteran he loved serving with World Central Kitchen. It combined his passion for service and his skills as he developed in, as, uh, in serving in the military. Flickinger, a dual U.S.-Canadian citizen, was one of seven humanitarian workers with World Central Kitchen killed Monday in strikes Israel's military calls a grave mistake. If it was a terrible mistake, then the Israeli military is extremely incompetent. I don't think it were an unfortunate mistake. It was really a direct attack on a clearly marked vehicles. World Central Kitchen founder Jose Andre says he doesn't believe the strikes on the three-vehicle convoy were a mistake, pointing out his organization had coordinated its movements with Israel's military. He became emotional talking about the killed workers, including Zomi Frankom. Some of the people that died were, were my friends. Tommy is the nicest angel you will ever meet. The charity organization is now demanding an independent investigation into the tragic incident. The White House has also called for a swift investigation, but said the U.S. does not plan to conduct its own probe, leaving Israel to investigate itself. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington. President Biden has grown increasingly critical of Israel's military strategy, but there has been no change in U.S. policy as the United States prepares to send 2,000-pound bombs and 25 fighter jets to its ally. Former President Trump's classified documents case is getting pushed back until after the November election. This comes after Trump-appointed Judge Eileen Cannon pushed back the trial. In a filing, special counsel Jack Smith says her actions are based on a, quote, fundamentally flawed premise. One trial that will play out before the election, the hush money case. That trial will start April 15th. Meanwhile, the Marquette Law School releasing a new poll on the race for the White House. It finds both President Biden and former President Trump are tied for support. Trump and Biden are both 50% of registered voters' choice. That has a margin of error of 4.3. Among likely voters, Biden received 52% and Trump has 48%. That has a margin of error of 4.9. These results include voters who initially said they would vote for someone else or would not vote. We'll still head for us on a Thursday afternoon, a recall on boxes of sea salt alligators. And as millions of people prepare for the solar eclipse, how some companies are celebrating the event. You're watching News 3 Now at noon, moving forward. Save big at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Precision is very proud of our five star reviews. I do everything I can to go above and beyond for repairs. <laughs> no, I'm not an actor. I'm a garage door tech. What I do here at Precision. Precision door service, a name you can trust. <laughs> Yo, you think Dallas is power four gonna drop 30 tomorrow? Why are you tripping? Did you see his mom made a post about going to the game? What? Hold up. Is mama gonna be there? He's been averaging like 34 points a game when she's there. At least 40 when she's down there jumbotron. He don't like to let his mama down. <laughs> pick more, pick less. It's that easy. Cash in on your sports fandom with prize picks. Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. We do the math, people. For $79, you get all this. That costs over $200 at Walmart, over $300 at LensCrafters, and over $200 at America's Best. When it comes to value, Stanton Optical is the top bird. With the best service, quality, and prices, Stanton Optical is the best value in eye care. To help you remember, I made this cheer. The value, A, awesome value, L, lots of value, U. Get two pairs of free eye exam and anti-glare lenses for only $79. With Dad's arthritis, he needs extra help around the house. So I called a Grace. Yes, a Grace. With their agent home service, he can stay at home. home. That's where I want to spend these months. <laughs> with hospice care from a Grace, I can stay home with my dog and my grandkids and their laughter. laughter. I had no <laughs> idea laughter could be a part of my life again after Joe died. But through a Grace, I found hope and healing. A Grace. Caring every step of the way. 
Pick and Save always gives you more ways to save on top of our lower than low prices. And when you download the Pick and Save app, you can enjoy over $500 in savings every week with digital coupons and earn fuel points to save up to a dollar per gallon at the pump. With a Boost membership, you'll save even more with double fuel points and free delivery. Discover more ways to save big every day. Pick and save, fresh for everyone. Save big at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Apple services were restored after a brief outage that lasted a little over an hour yesterday. The problems varied across the App Store, Apple Music, Apple TV Plus, and other services. No word from Apple on what caused the outage. Minnesota-based Abdella Candies is recalling boxes of sea salt alligators because the products are mislabeled. They don't list nuts as an ingredient, which poses a risk for those with allergies. The impacted 8-ounce boxes have a chocolate-covered cherries label with a code 0315 on the bottom. The FDA says no illnesses have been reported so far. Consumers are urged to return the products to their place of purchase. And as millions of Americans prepare for Monday's total solar eclipse, companies are rolling out products to celebrate the celestial event. Starting tomorrow, Krispy Kreme will have a total solar eclipse donut featuring Oreo cookie accents. Sonic is selling a blackout slush float. That's a dragon fruit and cotton candy flavored black slush topped with ice cream and sprinkles. Sun Chips is giving away free bags of solar eclipse, limited edition pineapple habanero, and black bean spicy gouda chips online. But only for 4 minutes and 27 seconds, the length of the eclipse. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to cbsmoneywatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Chanel Call. And a look at the stock report at the noon hour. The Dow up 178 or 173 points. NASDAQ up 172. And the S&P 500 up 41. We'll take a look at today's egg prices straight ahead. And Kelly is tracking the last of the snow in the first warm forecast. Then later on Live at 4, a new Marquette Law School poll of likely voters shows President Biden with a lead over Donald Trump. We'll hear from poll director Charles Franklin. What's going on, man? I'm remodeling and I'm looking for a new tankless water heater. You know, Menards always has Richmond water heaters in stock. I'm headed that way now. You want to go? You read my mind. Let's do it. Man, you ever take off that fire suit? <laughs> I sleep in this thing. All right. Man, these stores are incredible. I love having them as a partner. Me too. For the best tankless options, come to Menards for Richmond water heaters. And all your home improvement projects. Save big money at Menards. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. Welcome to Dwellings. Shop our fabulous showroom, Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. 
The Connor star Sarah Gilbert's Patrick Mahomes obsession. Taylor Swift's great, but that's my son. <laughs> then my quest for the best cookie. I'm gonna try all three. And next week is all about Abbott Elementary. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. We warn you first. When winter made an April comeback, the first worn weather team kept you on top of the developing winter storm conditions. First with the information you need to be prepared. And stay safe. First worn weather. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Welcome back at noon. Pam Yaki from the Midwest Farm Report is out of the radio barn today. Here are your farm members. New at noon, scientists say the effects of climate change are threatening a morning ritual for millions, that cherished cup of coffee. CBS's Tina Krause shows us the researchers rolling out new technology to help preserve the treasured tradition. A strong cup of java is known to give a buzz. But plants are the ones getting wired up at this coffee plantation in Tanzania. Solar-powered sensors are helping researchers keep tabs on the effects of climate change. The idea is to have this technology attached to some plants that will be our like, like the voice of the plantation. Italian scientists attached electrodes to 20 plants at this coffee farm in East Africa. That's what you want. Yeah? To monitor how a changing climate can tweak the taste of Arabica coffee. Arabica beans make up more than half of the world's coffee. And in Tanzania, where much of it is grown, trouble is brewing with unpredictable rainfall and extended droughts. I saw suddenly an acceleration of competition for the water. But the water, but also less water flow in the river, the double effect. The tech team says electrodes attached to the plants record and decode their electrical signals to reveal what they need, like water or more sun, helping to boost yield, enhance sustainability, and optimize irrigation. If proven successful for coffee crops, this system principle could be applied to a wide range of uh, agricultural sectors affected by climate change. Researchers are already looking to up their game with artificial intelligence to create a smart system alerting farmers when it's time to take action. Tina Krause, CBS News, London. Researchers predict climate change will slash the amount of land suitable for cultivating coffee worldwide by as much as 50% before the year 2050. Let's get a look at your certified most accurate forecast. First for meteorologist Kelly Slifka is back out on the weather patio. Hi, Kelly. Yeah, good afternoon, uh, Josh. Uh, we're starting to see uh, some of the uh, the snow continues to melt because right now we're getting some of that radiation coming out of the uh, clouds, even though it's cloudy. But that April sunshine is pretty strong this time of the year. Not strong enough to get rid of this storm system, though. It's been a slow mover. We had that wave of light snow move through this morning. I think now as temperatures are warming up, anything that does pop up is likely to be in the liquid form as rain as that storm system kind of winding up over Michigan right now. That's on the way out. We do have some clearing off to the west. Eventually, we'll get into some sunshine, but not until tomorrow. All right, take a look at the uh, drought monitor that came in yesterday. This goes uh, through Tuesday. They, they analyzed that, but you know some areas still under a severe drought, especially in Sauk County, Richland County, and Southern Adams and Juneau County. Uh, that severe weather, uh, that severe drought continues, and even uh, uh, dry conditions all the way down in the northern parts of Dane County. I think the uh, rain that we had yesterday will likely have helped that. In fact, some locations really picked up some heavy rain. This is what our Doppler radar is estimating. Four or five inches of rain from Madison areas to the south. Pretty widespread in that orange and red shading where we had that uh, severe drought. Not quite as much rain, but still beneficial rains of uh, inch, inch and a half to almost two inches in some locations off to the west. All right, the uh, snow that we had this morning is now moved out. I don't have a whole lot showing up on radar, but there's enough instability that we can't rule out a few showers popping up this afternoon. Might be a flurry or sprinkle moving through through Dane County, but really hard pressed to pick up anything currently 
here in Madison. So we do have the uh, cloudy skies right now, expecting highs up close to 40. Our average now is uh, 52. It'll be a chilly night tonight. We'll look at uh, maybe a flurry or a sprinkle this evening. Otherwise, it should be dry overnight tonight. It's going to be remaining cool through the weekend. It's going to be warmer than we've been, but probably still below average right through the weekend. Uh, we'll turn sunny, though. At least we got that going for us tomorrow and also Saturday. So there's that cold air that's uh, sitting over the Great Lakes. Just kind of a slow moving system moving on out. We get into some milder weather Saturday temporarily. Then another system comes in from the north and west and brings us another opportunity for some showers and it will cool down a little bit Sunday, but it does not look like it will last real long. We'll get back into some milder weather. So Saturday looks to be a pretty nice day. Actually, the, the nicest day going into the weekend was sunshine. It's Sunday. We've got a system off to our west that'll spread some showers, kind of a slow moving system, but we're going to be on the warm side of it. So it'll be all rain as we go into a Sunday and it may last right into a Monday. So we've got some more April showers on tap and we'll remain below average going into the weekend, but we do pop well into the 60s. It looks like next week as we will get under a warmer weather pattern that'll put us above average compared to where we've been. All right, our future track is indicating some showers. I think they're going to be few and far between, but can expect some uh, rain showers popping up. Temperatures generally in the lower 40s today as we will see mostly cloudy skies and tonight any kind of shower should diminish pretty quickly this evening otherwise just mostly cloudy overnight 37 right now in madison 39 in janesville 41 in lone rock as mentioned i can feel that sun trying to break through some of these clouds here at the noon hour it is already up to a 40 in middleton 39 right now in oregon and also stoughton so well, we are on the up and up gradually. Temperatures in the uh, 40s tomorrow with some sunshine in the afternoon. A lot more sunshine expected Saturday. Highs near 50. Then that system does bring us some showers uh, going into a Sunday. And then we see that warm up next week. Temperatures in the low to mid 60s. Along with that, we will have opportunities for some uh, April rain showers next week as well. Oh, that sun is going to feel so good. I'm so excited. Even though it's, not, it's cloudy right now, I can feel it warming me up. Even as sitting on the patio with snow on the ground. Oh, good news. Yeah. Kelly, thank you. Sure. Let's see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Today, we're breaking the rules. Well, at least according to the dictionary. Join us as we figure this out together. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Fresh out of Papa Murphy's Kitchen, the limited time triple pet pizza. Uh, actually, it's fresh out of my oven. Dad, it's just an expression. Giant, classic, and mini cup pepperoni? Now that is an expression. Order the triple pep today. This famous wood fence from the show Home Improvement had to have boards replaced 13 times in only nine years. Our fences outlast wood three to one and are all backed by our extensive lifetime warranty. This month, save $1,000 on your project. Visit the website or call the number for your new fence today. Two iconic rock bands. One night of history. The Marshall Tucker Band. Jefferson Starship. Live on Cloud9 Tour. Saturday, May 25th. Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Dells. All the hits. All the history. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. For the first time ever. The Marshall Tucker Band. Jefferson Starship. Together. This right here is confidence in a bottle. It makes me feel so much more confident than I've ever felt. They are some of the hottest videos on social media. Those videos claiming to instantly get rid of bags under your eyes. Annette Figueroa is here to tell us why she says this one is for real. This one is for real, and I'm so excited. We even have a video, and all he uses is a small amount on a clean, dry face. And what it does is it tightens and lifts the appearance of bags underneath your eyes. And I did this to my father. We were at home, so we applied it to his under eye bags, and let me tell you, we were so excited. In under 10 minutes, they visibly disappeared from view, and now it is literally part of both of our daily routines. And not only does it work on the bags, it works on the appearance of crow's feet, fine lines, and wrinkles. At our $14.95 price, it's the best way to try Plexiderm and see it work after your first application. Your solution is at PlexidermTrial.com or call the number on your screen. 
last chance. Come in and test rest a Beautyrest black mattress for your chance to win a dream vacation to Hawaii. Queen Beautyrest mattresses start at just $3.99. Or step up to the Beautyrest black for only $50 per month. Plus, you'll get $300 in Steinhoffel's cash. Upgrade your sleep with a Beautyrest adjustable base set and save up to $800. Shop in store or online at steinhoffels.com. Relax, it's Steinhoffel's. Today, we're breaking the rules. Well, at least according to the dictionary. You see, the formal definition of a pie is either a meat dish baked with biscuit or pastry crust, like a pot pie, or a dessert consisting of a filling in a pastry shell topped with a pastry, or both. However, the pie we're making today breaks the rules since it's brimming with saltine crackers, onions, and lots of cheddar cheese. The first thing we do is line a pie plate with some crushed saltine crackers that we mix with a little melted butter. We pop that in the fridge for a while while we saute some thinly sliced onions and a little bit more butter until they're tender and golden. Now, the onions go into our crust and we top them with a mixture we made by beating together some eggs mixed with a little milk and salt and pepper. The only thing that's left to do is top it with some shredded cheddar before popping it in the oven. After it bakes, it's ready to cut into wedges. Serve it for brunch or as the perfect side dish with dinner. To get the recipe for what we call our cracker onion pie, all you have to do is stop by our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a new definition kind of way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. Well, you'd rather have the pie than the diction. It is time for Potentially Yours as we introduce you to our pet of the week. The Dane County Humane Society would like you to meet Gruff. When this 10-year-old pup arrived at the shelter in early March, he was in rough shape as his fur was matted and his right ear was in pain with a severe infection. DCHS veterinarians treated the ear with medications and it began to improve. Gruff was then placed with the DCHS foster family to give him time to heal. He loves receiving pets, snuggles, and face and belly rubs. Gruff enjoys short walks and has been enthusiastic meeting people, including children, during his outings. Groff is looking for a family who will spoil him with short walks and playtime and, of course, lots of cuddles and pets. Online registration is currently open for the canine campus crawl on Saturday, April 13th. The University of Wisconsin-Madison Pre-Veterinarian Association is hosting an annual two-and-a-half-mile run walk. Proceeds will benefit the Dane County Humane Society. Dogs with proof of current rabies vaccination are welcome to join their human companions. Registration costs $20 for one person and no dogs, or $25 for one person with up to two dogs. Day of registration is also available. Participants must be prepared to pay by cash or check. Check-in begins at 10 a.m. on April 13th at UW Lot 60 with the race starting at 10.30. For more information and to register online, you can visit giveshelter.org slash events. And an update on last week's featured pet, string cheese, is still available for adoption this afternoon. So if you are interested in adopting Gruff, string cheese, or the other animals at Dane County Humane Society, all you got to do is go to giveshelter.org. Here's Kelly with a final look at your first warm weather. Yeah, it is uh, fairly cloudy, but uh, most of the precipitation has ended, at least for now. Our computer models want to pop up a few showers. I think these, these will be very light, and they should be in the liquid form with temperatures in the lower 40s today. And a lot of this will dissipate pretty quickly going into the evening hours, just mostly cloudy overnight tonight. A chilly start to the morning, upper 20s. We're in the mid-40s tomorrow, starting off with clouds, some sun in the afternoon. A lot more sunshine Saturday. Looks like the ni nicest day going in the weekend before some rain showers move in Sunday. So still rather cool going into this weekend, but finally some spring-like temperatures. Along with that, we'll have some April showers on Monday, again on Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Uh, definitely going to be turning green next week with all those mild temperatures and all the rain we've had over the last couple weeks. Looking forward to that sunshine, Kelly. Thank you. Have a great afternoon.